Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. I'm so hyped right now. Let's get this guy up here, huh? Oh, baby, look at this beautiful piece of magic product. Absolutely horrendous how much it costs right now. I'm not gonna lie, horrendous. It's a very <laughs> obscene price. But you know what? Those inven inventions are getting pretty expensive. So if you pull one, obviously, bada bing, bada boom. But me personally, one in every case, you're better off maybe buying it or like doing one of these box breaks, you know. Um, and you definitely don't want to buy single booster packs online. Okay, don't do it. If you're going to buy this product and that's how you want to get your masterpieces or whatever, you're going to want to buy a sealed booster box. Because if you buy single booster packs, you're going to get hosed. More than likely, the packs have been weighed. Somebody opens a booster box, says, okay, I found it. We're going to sell the rest of the booster packs at X amount of dollars. So um, if you didn't know, you can weigh the packs to, uh, sorry. You can weigh the packs to figure out which one has the invention, essentially. What up, Tom Moore? How's it going, buddy? Um, so definitely, Kyle Tucker, what's going on, buddy? Not much, man. Just trying to relax, chill out, enjoy some magic openings here. Um, hopefully we can find something spicy, but yes, you can weigh these packs and you can figure out which pack has the invention in it. So if you're ever in on a booster box break or anything like that, make sure it's sealed. Um, and again, like I said, don't buy any booster packs online because there's a very high chance you're not going to get it. Okay. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, tonight we have Eddie Lopez with three packs, Derek Collins with four packs, Mr. Tom Moore with three packs. We have Obi Cortez with three packs. Mike Forrester with five packs. Justin Best with four packs. Annie Eisman for four packs. Big China, a.k.a. Mr. Daniel Lee for five packs. And Brandon Lathizer for five packs. A lot of those names you heard. A lot of those people are patrons. So thank you guys for your continued support. Um, guys, we still have a little bit of time left. We got a little bit of time left, okay? We can still do it. We can we can give these away to one lucky winner, okay? We got a little bit of time left. Uh, we got to hit 1,500 members in the group, okay? So we got this for a top prize. We got commander decks. And we got other brawl decks, play mats, all kinds of stuff going on. So be sure to share this with your friends and family. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start busting into this box. Okay, let's get it going here. Card Drummer J, what up? Aloha, man. You've been you've been well. Sorry, it's been a while, man. No, no worries. The whole box already is sold, Kyle. Yes, sorry, buddy. It is sold tonight. We're doing just this. Um, yeah, just this for right now. So anyways. Oh, and after, we got... Uh, let me give you a little sneak peek, sneak preview. We got patron pack openings after, dude. It's going to be nuts. Yeah, that's Zendikar Collector in there, Commander Legends. Who knows? Who knows? So that'll be for all my patrons. Got some spice coming up, okay? Oh, man. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Let's spice things up a little bit. Let's spice things up a little bit. We got seven people watching. Everybody gets uh, a guess at what number, and you get the cards in the sleeve. One through seven. Pick a number. I'm also testing to see if my comments are lagging or not, and whatnot. So, oh, I don't want the number to be revealed. We're going to see if my comments are lagging, because that would just be freaking great, dude, if they are. One through seven. See, yeah, they are. I have to scroll to the left and then to the right to like refresh them. That's just dumb. Tom Moore says three. Card Drummer J says four. 
Ryan Casper says six. Dayton Wheeler says four. <laughs> Derek, what's up, man? Double Masters Collector Booster opening. <laughs> VIP pack opening, you mean? So it is not four, it is not six, it is not three. It is none of those numbers. It is not five. What's up, Dan? It's not the number four. It's not nine. It's one through seven, guys. Numbers one through seven. Jordan, what's up, buddy? Not much, man. Just chilling. About to crack open some spice, hopefully. Hopefully it's not a complete dumpster trash fire, okay? That would not be good. That would not be good. All right. It is not number two, negative. It is not number two. It is not number one. There's literally, I think, two numbers that haven't been called. It's not number four. It, the number is not four. I'll reveal the number once it is guessed. Okay? <laughs> it's all Gucci. I guess two it is not two. It's not five. Oh, Kyle, you said seven? Yeah, like I said, this is a test to see if my comments are lagging. And obviously they are. The number is seven. So if Kyle, if you said seven initially, uh, that would be the number, okay? So Mr. Kyle Tucker. Sorry, guys, my comments are lagging, so I, I don't know what to do about that. Nothing I can really do. Uh, you win a promo Shadow Spear. Heroic Intervention promo, and what do we got behind here? Throne of McKinney promo. So these are yours. Kyle Tucker, congratulations. I will set this off to the side for you and just throw it in with your patron pack openings. Sound good, buddy? Let me check my internet real quick. Okay, should be good. We should be good. Whatever. We're going to just bust right into this. Uh, let's see here. Bada bing. What's going on, Obi? We're going to start busting this open. Yep. So. There you go, Kyle. Congratulations. Yeah, I have to keep swiping to the left on my screen and then back over to get like the comments to refresh during the live stream. So I'm probably not gonna do that the whole time. Hopefully it'll figure itself out. Uh, right now we have Eddie Lopez, he's gonna be first. He's got three packs. Thank you, Eddie, for sponsoring this. Uh, you are also a part of the Patreon membership, so welcome to that part of the spice. Let's go ahead and open this box up, shuffle the packs, and let's get cracking, okay? Let's find a Mana Crypt or a Soul Ring. Let's get them big dollar signs, okay? The big ones, big dollars. Oh, man. Let's verify that there's 36 packs in here. Because that would just be trip dumpster fire right off the rip. Oh, man. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. That's good. That's very good. Two. Four. Six. Eight. 10, 12, very nice. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We're ready to go, boys and girls. We are ready to rip these open. Oh, man. I kind of want to just keep the box. <laughs> Let's go ahead and shuffle these up a little bit, all right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh boy. So I hope everyone's having a great night. It is finally the weekend for me. Um, work Monday through Thursday normally at the refinery. So we're gonna go ahead and chill out together here. Crack open some spice. Guys, I'm super excited for the patron pack opening. Um, <laughs> dude, it's gonna be good. 
Got uh, another nice juicy card we're going to be doing for the monthly giveaway as well. So obviously becoming a patron, you automatically get entries depending on your tier level into potentially free stuff for you. Like Brandon Lathizer, for example, I like using this one because the dude's luckier than hell. Uh, he got a Double Masters VIP pack and he's only a $25, $25 a month patron. We've also done like multiple box toppers from UMA, multi winners. It's not going to be the same every month. It's not going to be always super expensive or super cheap. It's going to rotate and be random, completely random. Um, that's what makes it special. That's what makes it juicy. And I think it's overall one of the best things I think the patron has to offer because anyone can get into the running for that. So that's pretty good. I'm really shuffling the heck out of this. I'm really shuffling the heck out of this. Okay, that should be good, huh, guys? You guys good with that? I'm good with it. Cool. Let's go ahead and swipe left and back over. Because this stuff is whack, dude. Eddie, you get three packs. Good luck, my friend. Oh, boy, Eddie. I hope you've slept since working that 3 a.m. overnight shift. Yeah, I actually got up at like 2 a.m. to leave to get to work. And uh, I did take a nap when I get home. So that was nice. Is Patreon opening tomorrow? I'm actually going to shoot the video tonight and probably post it on Saturday night. Because I'm going to post this video as well on YouTube. Kind of just keep the uh, content going on YouTube. Keep the algorithm alive type stuff. Um, for those of you that don't understand that, the more videos you put out consistently on YouTube, the better odds somebody might get, you know, things you might be interested in watching next on their screens for YouTube. So, the video will be out either Saturday night or Sunday night for that first pack. Oh my god, <laughs> I tripped out for a second. Smuggler's Copter is rare number one. And it is a land in the back. So first pack, not the greatest. And guys, also with uh, Kaladesh, there's really not that many expensive rare cards in the set. What's up, Nick? How's it going, buddy? Uh, Sword of Fire and Ice Masterpiece in there. Man, you know, I'm really hoping we can pull a Mana Crypt, because what is that thing? Still over like $1,000? So that's going to be Territorial Gorger. See, the thing about this, like... You have a one in every six box chance at getting a masterpiece. So it upsets me how expensive this set has gotten. To be, you know, they're $12 TCG low right now uh, per pack. Which, like I said before, don't buy packs online. Don't buy single packs online, okay? You want to buy, if you want to buy this product, it needs to be sealed. Um, that's because I mentioned earlier, you can weigh the packs and figure out which one has the masterpiece. So somebody could get a whole box, weigh them all out, and be like, not one in here. Sell them all on TCG for 12 bucks a pack and maximize profit. Nice little hit. Uh, I think the lands in here are probably going to be your best bet if you're not going to get anything. Because, you know, keeps things playable. Um, so, Eddie, right there, pretty much you got hose, dude. Not too bad. Uh, you got to uh, you gotta land. Um, so, it's not terrible. Enters tapped unless you control two or other fewer lands. So, not bad. Let's just go over these real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Those were your hits that you paid $31 for. <laughs> I hate saying that, man. Oh, it's such a bummer. But you know what? If you do hit the Masterpiece, and I believe on Bash Fam, we have hit one um, Masterpiece. It was a... Oh, my God. Bantu the Glorified. Bantu the Glorified. from uh, Jonathan Hobart actually hit that from a Monquette. So that was an invocation. What's up, Nate? What's up, Mike Johnson? My brother. Oh, you hate to see it, but you know what? Sometimes you live and you learn. All right, next up we have Derek Collins with four packs. Buddy, 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 buddy. Let's go. Mike Johnson, are you even buying magic anymore, bro? Or are you just like full on crypto Kryptonian? <laughs> full on Kryptonian, bro. Pack Sniper in the house, dude. What's up, Daniel Terry? Let's get going. Oh, man. This is great. 
So, Derek Collins, best of luck to you. He's also been a patron for a long time now. So, hopefully in the pack openings for Patreon, you can pull some spice. Um, Nature's Way, Spark of Creativity, and a Fumigate. Destroy all creatures. You gain one life for each creature destroyed this way. I can see this like actually being used in Commander. Uh, a lot of trigger effects that can be based on upon that. And nothing there. Okay, Derek, come on, man. You need to step it up just a wee bit, my lord. My guy. Pack number two. I'll buy it with karma. That's what I like to see. He spent his money on his Mexico trip. <laughs> Dude, I want to know what kind of sealed stuff you got chilling, bro. All right, we got Wildest Dreams. Uh, Shade sending me a lot of messages on Facebook. Uh, return X target cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile this. <gasps> Dude, trip me out for a sec. I was like, uh, no. Come on, baby. I really want to open one so bad. Like, I want to see it popped open here on the channel. Uh, just because <laughs> probably going to have a heart attack. And then I don't have to pay any more bills. So <laughs> that's a good thing. Uh, I only buy magic from you. That's what I like to hear, Mike. That's what I like to hear. Did you order any Modern Horizons? I haven't looked at the announcement in a while. I believe only one more person owes me money for that. Uh, Padim, Console of Innovation. Can anybody off the top of their head talk to me about what the most expensive mythic is? Is it Chandra? Is it Chandra in this set? That's the most expensive mythic that you can get? Pocket change. Damn, this guy. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go, dude. All right, last pack for you, Derek Collins. Thank you for attempting to get this masterpiece. Um, dude, we can only hope and dream, guys. And a confiscation coup. Damn, nothing absolutely crazy there, Derek. Unfortunately, not what you want to see. But you know what? You don't get to see these boxes too often anymore. They're going to only go up in price, I think, over the next course of five years. So... It's always fun to be able to open a product like this. Um, so let's let's go on to who's up next. We got Tom Moore for three packs. Buddy, are you going to be the one that gets it? I, I'm thinking we're going to pull one, dude. I really am. I, it's, I've opened a few boxes now on the channel. And I have yet to pull one from Kaladesh. Obviously, a monk hat, we've hit that bad boy. That Bantu, I wish it was a 4C, but you can't complain. Uh, we have three packs for Mr. Tom. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go, dude. Good luck, my friend. All right. Check out Tanner's new rap video. God, my stream is cutting in and out horribly, but I'm on mobile data, and we have some serious storms in the area. Tom Moore, good luck, buddy. Um, sorry that it's cutting in and out for you, buddy. We have a marionette master. What's up, Dane Piker? Uh, whenever an artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to that, uh, or to marionette's power. Hmm. That's, uh, that's a bit much. A foil, Willy Banda, first one of the night. So yeah, guys, as I mentioned earlier, my comments are lagging. So if I want to see your comments, I have to keep refreshing them. And then it's not all of them either. So if you're messaging something, ask me questions. Uh, thanks for stopping in, Dane. Appreciate it, buddy. You always manage to get in now on every video. If you're asking me questions and stuff I'm not answering, it's probably because it hasn't refreshed on my screen here. Um, hey, Nate, you want to text that group chat and let them know to please stop texting? Uh, Lost Legacy. Oh, man. Come on, baby. Let's go, dude. Last pack for you, Tom. My dude, good luck. Thank you again for um, sponsoring in on this. Guys, I'm so hyped after this. I'm going to be Aetherflux Reservoir. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Um, going to be doing the patron pack opening, so it's going to be exciting. Guys, like I mentioned, it's going to be either Saturday night or Sunday night. I'll drop the video. Uh, but everything's going to get shipped out tomorrow, so... Hey, Aetherworks Marvel. So we got our first Mythic. I've actually never pulled this one out of Kaladesh before. So let's go ahead and read this. Whenever a permanent you control is put into a graveyard, you get an energy counter. Pay 
Six energy counters. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may cast a card from among them without paying its mana cost. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. So, it's a bit of a stretch. But, I mean, that could be fun, just to dink around with. Let's go ahead and respect the Mythic. So, not, not a bad little hit there on that last little spot there, Tom Moore. This card would be kind of fun to use, just to be janky with. Like, whatever. That's all right. First Mythic has been pulled, baby. First Mythic has been pulled. Thanks, Nate, for sending that message, dude. Uh, sometimes it gets hectic, buddy, when I, all of you guys start messaging like that. I can't really... It does mess up with my stream a little bit. So thank you for messaging the fan bam, telling them to kawaii it down. Oh, boy. Guys, so votes are in. <laughs> votes are in. Actually, uh... Danielle is going to be opening my first collector box for YouTube for Modern Horizons. I have 1.7 trillion karma. Will I be rich? Dude, I thought you had like four something trillion, Mike. What happened to that? Would be good in Lorehold deck. Got you, boo. <laughs> um, but yeah. So Danielle, she's going to be opening uh, the... First Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster Box for my YouTube channel that I get. I have 480 billion. You must have sold some, I'm assuming. But anyways, let's go ahead on to Orbi Cortez with three packs. Let's get it, buddy. And she's actually going to study the set. <laughs> I'm going to make her study the set, study the prices, and hopefully she can have her own reactions. Um, obviously, I'm going to be there. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Mike, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about anymore. Two trillion, twenty-five k. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Fleet wheel cruiser. Would you drive this? Would you drive it? No. Okay. Good. I wouldn't either. I'm just kidding, dude. I'd rip the hell out of that thing. You kidding me? Show up to McDonald's and we get a McChicken and a freaking large Coke with a side of just fresh out of the basket fries, baby. Come on. Here we go. Pack number two for Obi. Come on, guys. Let's freaking... Oh, my God. I want to get it so bad. What the heck, man? All right. Cabal console of allocation. Hopefully, Wizards can get their allocation correct this time around for Modern Horizons. So we're not all waiting around for a product like the last couple of sets. Um, due to no fault of anybody that I've been purchasing from, it is all from distribution. Uh, certain stores get product first, and certain stores just have to wait, man. That's just how it's been going since COVID started, even though they should probably get rid of that COVID crutch here. Dude, okay, I feel something. Nope, nope, it was just a foil. Okay, so Bomat Courier. So obviously, you know, Wizards has been having some issues getting product out on time, and I uh, just don't know how much longer they can blame it on COVID, so... Hopefully it's starting to get better and we won't see that. Although they already did release that they're going to be a week late. Most stores, some stores might get 50% up front. Um, so obviously it's going to be hard if I get like half the product for pre-orders. It's going to be like hard to decide. You know, I'm probably going to give anyone who's a patron their stuff first. Honestly, I forgot I was in this. <laughs> Just make sure that Mrs. Bass hyped up with the spikely cards. Yeah. Obviously, these comments are probably from a while ago. So, that just shows you how much I'm lagging over here. Um, so, yeah. If, if I end up only getting half the product first and then the other half a week later, I am going to ship out uh, pre-orders. Pr patrons that pre-ordered in that, their stuff first. And then uh, whatever I have left or whatever I end up not having, that will get shipped out when I get the rest of it. So... We will see what ends up happening. Mike Forrester, buddy, dude, he did a crazy giveaway. What was it? I want to say it was like last year, December sometime. I can't quite remember off the tippy top of my tongue. Oh, man, I don't remember. Anyways, um, Mike Forrester did a huge giveaway. He did a huge chaos pack battle, or not battle, box break opening. So basically... You, there was a raffle that everyone razzed for, and 
it was like one through 16 or something crazy and so much value. And the dude said, Hey, uh, this is for the channel, man. I was like, you're kidding me. That was uh, very appreciative, man. I really appreciate you, Mike. And I'm so glad to see you get in on a box break. It's been a long time, dude. It's been a long time since I've seen your name pop up. So I'm excited to be opening these for you tonight. And I'm really hoping we can pull some ghost pepper, dude. Come on, please. Please, if we get the ghost pepper. The only problem with Strixhaven was my box is getting sent to Mike. But that wasn't on you. Obi, did you ever get that bundle, dude? I... I, f I forgot if I asked him. Okay, so this one either has uh, intervention or a foil. God damn, you son of a biscuit. Oh, man. You got a foil rare. That's good. You got a foil rare. That's good. Had me tripping for a sec through the damn border. You, you, you got to get you sometimes. It gets you sometimes. That chaos was super cool, dude. There were some spicy pulls, man. Some spicy cards in that chaos. Um, oh, man. I know Raymond Becker was trying to do one as well. I don't know if it filled or what all happened with that, but those chaos raffles are... Hey, there she is, dude. Chandra. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a hit, my friend. That Chandra is a beautiful card, man. I think... Oh, anybody? Can anybody look up the price on this? Is it like 16 bucks? Or something like that. I, I don't remember. I would feel like some of these cards prices would go up with how much the box costs. Like a hit like this, I feel like that should still be worth some money. I don't care, man. I don't care if we're just hunting for the inventions here, but come on. All right, here we go. Pack number four for you, Mike. Nice hit, dude. Nice hit. Slow roll these. It's a rare. It is an insidious will. Choose one for four. Yeah. Damn. That's uh, that's probably not playable. I'm just going to be honest with you right now. Okay. So, last pack for you, Mike. Good luck, my buddy. Good luck, my friend. There we go. Yeah, no kidding. Here we go, here we go, baby, come on. I might change up the music vibe in here. Botanical Sanctum. That's a good hit, dude. I'm pretty sure, is that the most expensive land you can get in the set? Okay, there's another foil in here. Or a masterpiece. Okay, wait. Maybe, maybe I mistook that. May I mistook it, dude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tripped you out, Mike. I tripped you out, bro. God damn. Bash, why you gotta do that to me? I am sorry, buddy. Nice hits, buddy. Not bad at all. Uh, the Botanical Sanctum, I'm pretty sure, is the most expensive land you can get. You hit the foil rare. You hit a bunch of stuff. So, that's juicy. And the frick, of course, the Chandra. Oh, buddy. That helped out a little bit. Yeah, it hurts to see some of the... The dumpster fire hits, man. It does hurt. I'm not, I feel for you guys. Okay. We got some chill vibes going on over here. I'm basically like chilling, dude. I'm in a lucid dream, I feel like. Still trying to wake up. <laughs> Still trying to wake up. Oh, man. Dude, that giveaway is going to be so insane, guys. We have to hit that goal, man. I want to give all that stuff away so bad to you guys. Oh, my God. All of it, dude. I, I just kind of want to show you guys real quick. Uh, next up is Justin Best, but hold on. So, <laughs> you guys don't even understand this, but... These, plus all five Commander decks from Strixhaven, are also being given away if we hit 15 members, 1,500 members. Um, my last day at my current job is tomorrow. Damn, nice, Nate. So these are five gram silver notes. Uh, I'm so excited for you, Nate. That'd be all. I mean, dude, it's always nervous starting a new journey. Um, these are actually worth about 50 to 60 bucks a piece. And you get a commander deck with each one color based on each silver note, dude. So these are all, it's going to be a huge multi winner. We're going to have over 10 winners. And obviously, like I said before, guys, if you invite people, you get extra entries into this. Um, it's over a thousand dollars in prizes. We're currently sitting at about 1,366 members right now, 
But at, at roughly around 1,440, that number on Blissful Bash changes to 1.5K. And that is when I will do the giveaway. Even though it's not officially 1.5K actual number members, once it hits that number on the Bash Fam in the Facebook group, we will be giving away the prizes, okay? So we pretty much just need about 80 more people realistically. Um, yeah, it'd be great to see that 1,500 actual number but just trying to give everybody an extra chance here the benefit of the doubt just want to see that number change man 1.5 is going to be huge in the facebook group what's your dream totem oh man i don't know i actually have been told this before but i don't remember dream totem mm. my spirit animal is a butterfly if that helps anything okay we have a deadlock trap what's going on here what are you guys doing in there? Get out of there. Is this a, an, an only, OnlyFans? Um, <laughs> oh, come on, Justin. Let's see some good stuff coming here, buddy. I want to see the spice, dude. Oh, this one's being a stubborn pack to open. I hope that's a good thing. Wow. Butcher season. Call me the meat master, dude. Butchering it up. Von Hansen's over here. All right, can we see one tonight? We still have a chance. We still got packs left. Oh boy, come on. Let's slow roll this. Look at that, dude. It reminds me of Avatar, man. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> no way, am I tripping right now? Am I tripping right now, dude? Oh, no. Oh, shaky, shaky. Dude, what, what was that? What was that, dude? What was that? Ah, oh, god damn, oh, bro. This is a lucid dream, dude. What is it? Which one is it, guys? We hit it, we hit it bro. We hit it, bro. Anonymous. Oh, what is it, guys? Oh, my God. I keep refreshing the comments so I can see this shit. Justin Best, bro. You literally have a masterpiece behind here, bro. Yes, dude. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to get jiggy with it. I got to get jiggy with it. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, buddy, no way. Do I reveal it? Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. No, no. Dude, that's an $1,100 card, bro. No way. Holy shit. Oh my God! Get it in the sleeve, man. What are you doing? Turn the cup of Jesus. What happened? What's going on? Woo! Don't wake up the baby. Don't wake up the baby. Oh my God! Okay, just chill. Just chill. Stream ends. Boom. Bristol Bash MTG community cut off. Disappearing right now. My card. No, I'm just kidding. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, no way. Oh, my God. YouTube, baby. YouTube. Holy shit. Get in the sleeve. Get in the sleeve. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, man. Dude, you got the holy grail of the whole set, bro. <laughs> Damn, Justin. That is so sick, bro. Oh my god, I, that is like a dream card to hit, man. Oh man, you... <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta chill. You still got some... Do we even open the packs, man, or what? Like, damn. Cover it up from the air around it quick, dude. Chill, bro. It's fine, we got it. Oh my god, bro, look at that. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Justin, you psychopath. 
Whew. I can't believe we hit that. What are the odds, bro? What are the I said mana crypt. I said I'm feeling a mana crypt. So Jordan Leandre said fire and ice. Nah, dude, mana crypt. No way. Oh my god. How center in here? I'll look in just a sec, bro. I'm gonna look in just a sec. My comments are lagging, Nate. My comments are lagging. Let me finish up his pack opening here. My god. So there's not going to be another invention in here, okay? I'm just going to tell you right now. So <laughs> I'm sorry. That was rude. Uh, Skyship Stalker. Oh, my God, dude. I can't believe we freaking pulled it, bro. I cannot believe we pulled that card. Dude, I got the wizard fingers, man. That's I got the ghost pepper sauce to the face and the eye sockets, okay? That happens when I... Do I eat one of these beans, bro? Do I eat one of these beans because of that? Carolina Reaper? No, I, dude, there's no way. I think I have to. At this point, I think I have to. I don't even know what my face looks like, bro. Or my hair. Aetherflux Reservoir! Nice! Dude, Justin, you're killing the, the game right now, bro. You're killing the game, dude. Oh my god, nice hit. Actually, a very, very useful card, too. Oh my god. Dude. Holy crap, man. Let's check out centering on this bad boy, okay? Oh, wow. That, uh, that centering is phenomenal. Maybe a little bit right to the left, just a hair, but it is, uh, it is phenomenal. Just a little bit right to the left, it looks like. <sighs> it's tough to tell, man. I'm not Beckett or anything. But it looks like if you were to go Beckett, it's just a spec off. I'm not a professional, though. That looks really good, though. Overall, centering is pretty good. I would say a 9 if it was a Beckett grade or a 9.5. Um, surface, I mean, obviously, surface is mint. Corners look a little, a little bit damn good. <laughs> they look really good, you know? Doesn't get much fresher than that. Oh man. Okay, let's let's move on here, guys. Um, I'm gonna tease the wheeze, man. I'm just gonna let this one brew for a second. I'm not gonna seal your package up yet. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna let that sit there, cause I cannot believe we hit a mana crypt, the holy grail of Kaladesh, the one card, the one card out of all the inventions. Out of all of the inventions, there's like 30 or something inventions. This is the one you pulled, and you get one in every six boxes. Do that math for me. Somebody do the math. That is insanity, dude. It is what it is. The one card that collectors, people that are buying in on this, this is the card that they're hunting for. That's the holy grail, buddy, and we just opened it on the channel, baby! Oh, my God. Annie Eisman, my girl. So you got four packs, and uh, you get to see another mana crypt. Leave your leave your grasp. Not only any mana crypt, the best, most expensive one. <laughs> Annie, Annie and I did a VIP pack battle once, and we were doing value based, and she pulled a mana crypt borderless foil. Oh my God, Cataclysm Gearhulk, nice. It's only like four bucks, maybe. But it's still a nice little decent hit. You got a mythic. And she pulled a man of all. Borderless foil. She started freaking out. And uh, I know I've said this story a couple of times now. I was like, dude, Annie, you got nothing to worry about. And prior to this, mind you, prior to this, I had a VIP pack battle against Shade. I miss VIP packs, man. I'm probably going to buy some more. Um, but I had a VIP pack battle against Shade Harder. He pulled... A uh, Thoughtseize, I believe it was, and a Jace Borderless Foil. Fire. Okay, that's Fire Sauce. This is the like, third top hit you can get at that time it was. And I pulled a Borderless Mana, or a uh, Borderless <clears throat> Force of Will. Foil. I beat him. Got the cards. The next battle was Annie. She got a Borderless Foil Mana Crypt, and I believe it was a Blood Moon. And I pulled a... It was like a meddling mage or something, dumpster fire. And behind it, dude, was another borderless foil, foil force of will. 
<laughs> I beat both of them with a board. Hey, nice foil planes. Um, I don't know if that's worth any money actually, but still cool to hit one of those foil land cards here in this older set. So I beat both of them in the same stream with a border borderless foil force of will. It was absolutely insane, dude. Absolutely insane. Andy, this is your last pack. Thank you for sponsoring. Thank you for attempting to get that mana crypt metal war Colossus. Um, I don't even think it's possible to get two in the same box. I don't think that's actually possible. But if we do it, I mean, that'd be the first time in history I think anyone's done it. So that'd be cool, I guess, if we can hit that. <laughs> oh my God, bro. I cannot believe we got the Mana Crypt. Can't believe it. I can't believe it's not real, dude. That's, it is not a dream, buddy. Jeez the wheeze, man. All right, here we go. Annie packaging you up. We got Big China next. He's got five packs. Big China. Dude. I shuffled. I don't want to hear it. nothing from nobody. I shuffled the behemoth out of these packs. Okay. The living life out of the packs. So we got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have five left for Brandon. Um, so doesn't get the shuffling doesn't get any better. That was absolutely the most random it could get. I cannot believe we did this. Oh my god. Good luck, Mr. Big China. OG member of the Bash Fam, also a patron as well. Architect of the Untamed. Another charge counter type character there. Oh my god, dude. Pack number two for you, Mr. Big China. What you doing, Jace? What you doing, Jace? I'm just kind of like ripping through these, man. Oh, Panharmonicon. That's actually not terrible. Um, if an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of it a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. It is a four drop. It's not terrible, though. Um, I forget the price on it. I thought it was a decent price, you know, but I can't, I could be wrong. Man, I can't get that out of my head, bro. And that's the other thing, too. There's literally, like, three inventions that'll pay for the box nowadays. And that's Soul Ring and Mana Crypt, bro. Like, those are the two... I think there's one more. But those are the, like, the only hits that you're going to get that, oh, that will pay for the box. So if the box stays at around this price and continues to go up, best believe that this is going to skyrocket. Same with Soul Ring. Because, you know... I, I can't believe all the masterpieces aren't a stupid amount of money right now. The one in six chance of getting a, an invention and it also the, have the possibility, the strong possibility of still not breaking even baffles me. So, dude, this Mana Crypt has, has got me shaking a little bit. Hey, Rashmi Eternity's Crafter. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a non-land card with converter mana cost less than that spells, mana cost less than that spells, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you don't cast a revealed card, put it into your hand. Not bad. Anybody actually use this as a commander? Let's go ahead and respect. Do you get two mythics? Or no, Annie got the gear hulk. Dude, is uh, Brandon going to get slapped in the face with dumpster fire? Because I'm pretty sure we pulled four or even five mythics now. Oh my god. Uh, just to let you guys know, I've officially stopped getting comments. So I can't read anything if you're messaging me. I really am going to try to start maybe doing some YouTube live. See if that does me better. Because this Facebook live stuff is kind of pissing me off. Um, and not in a bad way. Like It's not like I'm actually pissed off. It's just annoying, I guess I should say. Because I'm a pretty positive guy. But it's actually been happening every stream now. I mean, and my internet's fine. I've actually done speed tests on my internet. So I don't know what the deal is. If it's like I need to clear up some space. Even though I have 10 gigabytes free on my phone. I don't know. I don't know what it is, guys. So if you're messaging me right now, I apologize. Um, and if you're just joining in, yes, we did pull this Mana Crypt during this live stream for Justin Best. Um, which was, dude, I am so excited to post this video on YouTube. Oh, man. 
not a lot of videos out there pulling a mana crypt live. I, if any, if you know of any, let me know, because that would be cool. Oh my god, dude! I can't believe we did it. All right, last one up tonight is Brandon Lathizer. Uh, dude has the luck of a leprechaun, bro, in this group, and when it comes to razes and everything else, dude. Um, you got five packs left. And if anybody was going to do it, you'll pull a second invention out of this box. Like, just because. Just because you're Brandon. Or four Mythics. Who knows? Oh, my God. This pack feels heavy, dude. I don't know why. Feels like there's extra stuff in this pack. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. And I am wrong. I am very wrong. We got a Midnight Oil. Hmm. Interesting. Midnight Oil. Uh, guys, again, if you're just joining in too, uh, 1,500 members, man. We got over $1,000 in prizes to multiple winners. I believe it's a total of 12 people can win. Uh, I'll have to double check that math. Uh, 10 or 12. Um, so that's a lot of winners, dude. And they're all really good prizes. There's, you know, obviously some brawl decks that are like, you know, 15 whatever bucks for lower end wins. But that's just the name of the game. Um, dude, I... Be sure to invite your friends and family. I keep posting uh, and preaching about it just because I probably come off annoying now at this point in time, but I just really want to give the stuff away. And uh, we give a ton of stuff away all the time on the, the Bash Fam. That's, that's what we're about. We're a community of giving and uh, building good karma, whatever you want to say, law of attraction with the universe, nice consulate Skygate. Um, and uh, that's what we're about here at the Bash Fam. But I can't always just, you know, blindly continue to give stuff away. That's why we had tried to make goals and to try to hit those goals um, just for, like, the bigger giveaways. You know, like the $1,000 worth of stuff. Like, uh, we did our one-year collector booster box giveaway the other day, the other week, uh, just for being in the channel for one year. I mean, no goal-orientated giveaway, nothing like that. And it was super fun. It was a super spicy box. And we got a Depala Pilot Exemplar. We got another foil back here. And Brawl Bruiser. And uh, so, yeah, I really I really want to give this stuff away, guys, because I love making people happy. I love people winning free stuff, free magic. Uh, times are tough. Times can be tough for some people. And they can other times can't buy this type of stuff freely. Like, some of us are very blessed and grateful that we can do that kind of stuff. So, yes, please share with the Bash, uh, Bash Fam, share with the uh, friends, family, all that stuff. Get them in here, get them in, in this family, and uh, let's all grow together. Paradoxical outcome. Uh, I can't do that. Forget this card, but uh, return any tar number of target non-land non-token permanents you control to their owner's hands. Draw a card for each card returned to your hand this way. That's actually could be kind of fun. Pretty sure that's worth a couple of bucks, dude. Maybe more. I, I Maybe it's not. <laughs> Bash, you sound stupid. Um, I just remember reading about this card before, actually. Uh, Paradoxal Outcome being used. Um, anyways, thank you guys, everyone who sponsored in tonight. This was a blast. I can't wait to post this on YouTube. Justin Best, dude, again, congratulations. This is by far the spiciest hit in Bash Fam history. Uh, beats all of the Force of Wills, Mana Crypts that we pulled prior. Beats the Amonkhet uh, Masterpiece hit, Lottery Ticket hit. Beats all of it, man. This is the, the biggest card we've ever pulled on this channel. And I'm holding it right in my hands right now. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous card to see in person. Very phenomenal. Uh, this is, yes, it's absolutely amazing. Once in a lifetime experience, man, to open something like this. Once in a lifetime, buddy. Uh, so congratulations. I'm glad you guys got to witness this little piece of Bash Fam history tonight on this live stream. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome night, awesome weekend, and I hope you guys had an awesome Memorial Day weekend. Uh, shout out to all vets in the Bash Fam. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your service. A little late on that. I'm sorry. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys have a good night. Stay tuned for this video to hit YouTube if you want to rewatch it again. And then uh, also stay tuned for the Patreon pack openings, okay? With that being said, everyone, hashtag stay groovy, hashtag bash man, peace.